is uh, not something you see every day. Water shooting through a manhole several feet into the air. Apparently, an Alcasan overflow gate got backed up, and every few minutes, there you have another geyser. Lynn Hayes Freeland joins us now with a look at uh, how this impacted the morning rush hour. It was not pretty, Lynn. It was not pretty. And you know what, Ken? Anytime we have a lot of rain in this area, the uh, sewage system gets overloaded. That then flows into the rivers and the streams. It's an ongoing problem. Well, you know, we had a lot of rain earlier this week, and we had a problem this morning. Only this time, the problem was in the middle of a very popular roadway. It happens every 10 to 15 seconds, a burst of water into the sky. It could be very entertaining, except this happened around 4 a.m. Tuesday morning on the 10th Street Bypass, downtown. We were notified a little bit later, and our crews went out, and basically what we discovered was that one of the overflows above there was blocked. Several lanes of traffic came to a halt on the 10th Street Bypass just before the morning rush hour began. The old faithful style burst continued until crews from Alcasan were able to relieve the pressure in the pipes that was causing the problem. What we discovered was that really heavy rain that we had a couple days ago just brought so much debris into the system that we had rocks and bricks and all sorts of stuff that came flushing through. Around 1 this afternoon, both lanes of the bypass were reopened to traffic, guaranteeing the evening rush would go much smoother than this morning. Alcasan sends out alerts during what they call overflow season, but that could change in the future. Alcasan may spend billions on a tunnel system that could meet federal standards to stop the discharge of raw sewage into local rivers. Sometimes we even get things like car parts stuck in them. And at this point, there is not an agreement from the city, the county, and Alcasan on exactly how this problem should be fixed. But what happened here this morning is a clear indication that it must be fixed. Reporting live tonight, I'm Lynn Hayes Freeland, KDK TV News.